Hey guys, welcome back. Who I am excited for this video. So six months ago, I bought one of my all-time wishlist plants and the plant was the Monstera Burl Marks Flame. When I got her six months ago, she was a cute little baby with a few leaves. So I thought it'd be interesting to document the growth. And so in this video, I'm going to show you the plant when I first got it six months ago, then the process of transferring her into LECA. Then from that point, I'm going to show you a two week update, a two month update, a four month update, and now here we are six months later and I'm looking at her off to the side and she is just, she's the cutest little thing. And if y'all are wondering where I bought this plant, I bought it from House of Monstera here in Toronto. And the reason why this plant was on my wish list is because on their Instagram, they posted a bunch of pictures of the Burl Marks flame. She is just an amazing plant. She's just like, Oh my gosh, okay. So I'm going to pop in a clip from six months ago. This is when I first got it and roll the tape. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I got a plant. <laughs> and it is a great, amazing plant. And I am so excited and scared because this is a very, you know, uncommon, commercially uncommon, rare plant. Now she's a baby. She doesn't look like much, but to me, she's everything. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Okay, so she's in the bag. Okay, are we ready? I'm whispering, oh my gosh, hello. Okay, so this is the mama leaf. So this is the leaf that, you know, existed. And then the baby has three leaves. The leaves are a lot thicker than like a Monstera Deliciosa. So right now she has these three leaves. I expect this leaf to die off. I'm probably gonna try it in Lekka. And like, oh, like, I don't know if y'all can see, but look at the lines. Do you see the lines? I will keep you guys updated. I'm so excited to watch this grow super 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 excited so i'll see you guys in the next clip okay guys it's been five days since i got my monstera burl marks flame the mother leaf so this leaf was the mother leaf when i'm assuming it was a single node propagation and you could see that it is yellowing the rest of the plant so this baby over here it feels fine um, it doesn't feel droopy or anything, but I just want to take a look at the roots anyways. And like I said, I was planning to transfer this into Lekka. So we're gonna just take it out of soil, which is kind of scary. Wow. Okay guys, so the roots look great. You could see these healthy roots here. There is one big one that's not there anymore, <laughs> but that's normal guys. Um, and I was right. So it was a single node uh, propagation here. So I guess I will show you the process of me washing off the soil. I just want to show you something interesting. So that root that was kind of rotten here, you could see, so this was initially the, you know, the main root, but above where it rotted, you could see it stemmed off here and it also stemmed off over here. Even if the main root system rots, a lot of the time the plant has the ability to like branch off just to keep the plant alive. So I'm just cutting off that root. There we go. Then we're just continuing washing off the soil. So good news about this um, plant, when you initially propagate a plant, so in this case, a single node cutting, you could see it was just a one leaf cutting here. They grow their own independent root system. And then when the new plant branches off from the node over here, there's a new root that grows for the new plant. This is really good because I'd be more concerned if there was just one you know, bundle of roots. Here, there's actually two. So that increases your chances, obviously, of the plant survival during the transfer. Plants go through shock when you transfer plants from different mediums. And so, so this is good. And I mean, the roots look healthy after washing off the majority of the uh, soil. So um, I just have a four, I think it's a four and a half inch 
nap pot here. And so guys, I have my pre-washed, pre-soaked leka here. And we're just going to put a layer at the bottom of the pot. And then we'll just put our plant just like that and then put more leka on top. And actually guys, just because the roots are, you know, very big for even a small cute plant, uh, I'm gonna switch it into this. I think it's a five and a half or six inch pot. Already, so here's the baby guys. Okay, so um, a lot of people say to just put plain old water just for the first uh, few weeks. I like to do a lightly diluted solution. So here is a cup of nutrient solution and I'm just checking the water level and I'm adding just tap water. Okay, very important. Once this is all potted up like this, put it in a place with a lot of light. For me, because it's it's spring right now, it needs a lot of light, a lot of hours of light. I'm gonna put it maybe like 12 inches away from my grow light. And yeah, that, that really minimizes um, the rot factor with the roots. Here we are, look at this little cutie, oh my gosh. So I will see you in the next update. Okay, it's been two weeks um, from the time that I transferred this Burlmark flame into Lekka. So she actually lost the mother leaf, um, which is normal. It's normal for like the mother leaf that they used to propagate the plant from would die off, especially cause I mean, this was a new leaf at the time. It's now a lot, it's hardened off now. I do feel the youngest leaf is about to go. It still feels fine. And honestly, if you guys can't check the roots, and this is gonna sound weird, but I, like every other day, I feel the petioles, I feel the leaves, just so I know, because obviously I haven't had this plant before. So just so I'll know what it usually feels like, even before I transferred it into Lekka, just so you're familiar, because then you'll easily identify if it's not as firm, dehydrated. And right now she feels fine. This leaf is gonna go. I could already feel it. And, oops, I just broke the leaf. <sighs> what nightmare, okay. <laughs> okay, let me just take the whole thing off cause now it's just gonna rot. Okay, and this is why I said this leaf is a goner. I saw at the edges here, which isn't necessarily bad. Obviously it's the oldest leaf. And actually this is great, but okay. If y'all can't see future Kevin zoom in, that is a brand new aerial root that was hiding under that leaf. So that's so exciting, guys. You know me, I'm really about building a bigger root system for plants. And so with the addition of another aerial root, it ensures that the plant matures. And also like, it also just makes me feel better. A larger root system kind of gives you the safety just in case the other root system below rots. I don't see any new leaves yet, but that's okay. Um, that root or like the starting of that area root is like amazing to see. I know I broke one leaf, but like here we are. Look how cute. I have my plants really close to a grow light and because I think that the leaves are pretty thick, they didn't get bleached or anything. Again, the grow light is like literally here because I'm always scared. I don't know when the next update will be. I wanna say two weeks, but I don't think there's going to be a change. Um, but if there is, I will definitely record it. So it has been two months since I got this plant. I did film a one month update, but I somehow deleted it, I don't know. So it's been two months. Um, a lot has happened <laughs> since um, I think it was a two week update. I think there was one leaf that dropped or I removed it and then um, the plant was left with two leaves. And since that time, she has pushed out. Oh my gosh, this is the newest leaf. So in the previous video, this was the leaf, yeah. This was the leaf that was there before and now she has this new one. So slightly bigger than the last one. And <laughs> there's another leaf coming. How wild guys. You know, all the good news. You could see that there is another root coming out. And yeah, I'm super excited. I know it still doesn't look like, you know, what you see in pictures, but this is a big deal guys. It's been two months. She's pushed out this leaf and she's pushing out another leaf. And again, we have to factor in that I transferred this into Lekka. So there was like a little bit of a like shock factor. And yeah, there hasn't really been any changes. Um, I guess the only change 
uh, because this leaf is higher up. And as you can see, this leaf and this leaf, they've now turned upwards like this. Before they were just like this, they've actually turned this way. And I find it interesting because she's right under a grow light. Like, I'm not even kidding. The grow light is right here and the leaves just kind of like turned into it. It was interesting. I measured it with um, that light meter and it was about 3,000 foot candles for this one, which is a lot. I know, guys, I know, I know, I know. And then these two leaves, because they're a bit lower, they're receiving maybe a thousand to 2,000 foot candles. I am only doing this, I do this for about the first three months of having um, a plant newly transitioned into LECA. I find, in my experience, to minimize the casualty rate, you need to blast it with light. And I'm pleasantly surprised that there hasn't been a lot of bleaching, like, that's not bad at all. Like you could see maybe up here, that's like more of the more normal dark green, but like you can't really tell. It's like very like minimal. Like I said, the leaves are very, very thick. I'm thinking they're more, you know, resilient or can take more than like a Monstera Deliciosa. Okay, I'm still changing my nutrient solution every two weeks. <gasps> I'm only seeing this now. I like want to look at the nutrients, the root. Look at this root. <laughs> How wild, guys. <gasps> okay, so I'm actually shocked. <laughs> so now we have a root that's made its way into the reservoir. I get this question a lot about the fear of rot, which is valid. Um, I find that if the root grew into the solution and it's kind of like a water root, then it's okay for a little bit. And knowing, you know, because this plant is closely related to the De uh, Monstera Deliciosa, you know, gathering information based on my personal experiences, my Thai Monstera Thai Constellation and my Monstera Albo, they actually do fine with their roots sitting in water. So because of that, I'm not worried. So we're just gonna leave it as is. So yeah, this is the two month update. I am so excited to see um, how this plant will grow. And yeah, I will join you guys in another month. Oh, hey, um, <laughs> it's been four months. So for some reason, you know, time just escaped me and I was originally gonna film a three month one, but it's been four months since I got the Boromarx flame and I am so impressed. You can see a little bit of her over here, but the last time, okay, let me just show you the plant first. Look at how much she's grown. So to recap, last time she had these three leaves. So one, two, and three. She's pushing out a new leaf. That's what this leaf was. She was getting too tall for where she was living. So she did get burned by the grow light a little bit. Some on this edge over here. And she's pushed out two additional leaves and they're big. This one over here, guys. And then the newest one here. So I know she might not look like, you know, anything special, but she's special because she's so big. And just looking at the like three leaves that existed at the two month mark and then looking at the three new ones, they're a lot bigger. I'm really hoping either the next couple will like give me like the claw. The first finestration is usually like a single one and it usually looks like a claw and I just love it. So yeah, look at how beautiful guys. She's, she's incredible. I did that method where I put a ziplock around the aerial roots, but she is vining a little bit up. So you can see that there is a new root right there. I do think I'm going to put this on a moss pole just because I think this plant would benefit from it. Um, so you could see the root that has gone into the leka here. And yeah, this one's a bit too high. I don't know if I want to put her in a bigger pot now. Maybe I should. I don't know. The plan current. The plan currently is to take her out of here, but I, I just don't want to break this root. We put her maybe in a bigger pot with Lekka and then attach her to a moss pole because I think, you know, it climbing would benefit the plant, bigger root system, it'll feel more established, latching onto something. So here she is. How exciting, guys. I think maybe I'll update you guys in another month or in another two months. Okay, so oh, I guess I'll show you what she looks like today. I am just so in love with this plant. And honestly, I can't believe I kept this a secret for six months. So the last clip that you just saw was filmed two months ago. And in those two months, she pushed out two additional leaves and these two leaves, they have fenestrations. Okay, I'm gonna show you the newest leaf because 
<sighs> she's a claw, she's a claw. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, guys. I can't, this is too much. I still can't go over it. Um, so this is the newest leaf. Similar to the Monstera Deliciosa, they will slowly push out fenestrations. Look at her, she is a lobster claw. I like can't even believe. So this is the newest leaf and the one before that was like a weird fenestration. It was like a whole, it continues. So it didn't quite break through here. Since that last video two months ago, she pushed out this leaf and then, wow. Look at her guys. I'm so in love with this plant. Oh my gosh. And let's just pop in a still from when I transferred her into Leka. This was, I guess it's still around six months ago. She had these tiny, 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 tiny leaves. And you know, I just didn't know how this plant was gonna grow, like what the new leaves were gonna look like, the progression. And I think it's just insane that she's finally, oh my God. So I'm so excited to watch this plant grow. There's gonna be more fenestrations as the plant matures. So for now, it seems to me that she's growing like a small leaf Monstera where their internodes are generally larger than the large form Monstera Deliciosa. Like the internodes, they're not as tight. And see, there's new root growth. This one's trying to reach into the LECA. The one before that over here has just kind of gone around here and she's climbing out. She's out, she's really outgrowing this pot, guys. And, okay, interesting. So she has branched off and has all those healthy new roots. So it seems to me that those new roots are acclimated to sitting in the nutrient reservoir. Okay, I'm just gonna put her here while I talk about her a little bit. So I'm going to talk about the conditions that I grew this plant in. Obviously these things are very specific to like how I like to grow my plants. So in total, if she had these two little baby leaves when I transferred her into Lekka initially. She has pushed out one, two, three, four, five, and six. So on average, a leaf per month. I already showed you the root growth. So we have some adventitious roots trying to reach into the medium and also some healthy roots over there. So starting out with the lighting, this plant only got supplemental lighting from a grow light. I use the Sunblaster LED grow lights. I've actually kept this plant relatively close to the grow light. And I'm not sure if it's because these leaves are generally thicker than a Monstera Deliciosa. There's not much like bleed at all and so the amount of light I give it is bright indirect light I want to say it's maybe between 800 to 1500 foot candles this plant will probably do well in medium light conditions but for me I kind of think about how this plant grows obviously it's epiphytic and obviously you know witnessing it for myself again with every new leaf I had the grow light really close and I had to move for a few times but every time there was a new leaf I would just put it maybe a couple inches above the newest leaf now looking at a another aspect that I find very important, which is the medium. Y'all know that I have a fantastic track record when it comes to my Monstera Thai Constellation, my Monstera Albo. And so I thought that this plant was gonna be fine in Lekka. The key here was that Lekka had those fixed air pockets in between each piece of Lekka, and that's what Monstera's like. I'm sure that this plant would do well in Pond. I'm sure this plant would do well in a chunky, chunky, chunky aeroid mix, but y'all know that my preference is always Lekka. My nutrient solution, so for the majority of the time, I had one teaspoon per gallon for CalMag and Diamond Nectar, two teaspoons per gallon for the Flora Micro, Flora Grow, and Flora Bloom, and two milliliters per gallon for Rapid Start and HydroGuard. I would change my nutrient solution every two weeks. During the summer months in my room, it gets really hot, so I found that this plant would suck up a lot of water. So I'm guessing like July, August, I would have to add additional water in between my nutrient changes. Now looking at temperature, my temperature fluctuates a lot. So we've gone through spring, summer, and fall. So I would say the lowest was 65 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 18 degrees Celsius, and a high around 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. Humidity. So I don't think this plant needs high humidity. I think it's very similar to a Monstera Deliciosa, Monstera Thai Constellation, Monstera Albo. But on average, this plant was sitting at between 40 to 60 
60% humidity. I would say this is a very easy plant to grow. My plan is to put this up a moss pole and I need to do it soon. Like I really need to do it like maybe today or tomorrow. But yeah, guys, what are your thoughts? I am so excited to watch this grow. I still think it's crazy. I mean, looking at these leaves and now looking at the newest one, like, come on. If anyone has this plant, I would love to hear your experiences. You know, obviously I'm still relatively new to growing this plant. It's only been six months. You know, what medium are you growing this plant in? I'm very curious about that. But yeah, guys, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for all the support. I was really excited to film this video. And again, I can't believe I kept this a secret from you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.